you can you know, you can you can still love him. But everybody's not gonna love you, everybody's not gonna like you. Everybody didn't like Jesus. Right. You know, if he if he went through it, we gonna go through it. You know? So the key is to make love. a decision to love everybody. <laughs> There you go. Let there be light. Let there be light. Well, praise the Lord. Amen. Glory. Thank you all for coming. Thank you. I would love the Lord to come out in the weather like that. Amen. Make sure that you hug our visitor back there, our brother right. back there. Brother Buzz. Buzz. He lives in the neighborhood here. Yeah. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Well, we've been uh, talking about. Oh, we, we, we're on a series called Faith Development. All right, this is part four. And the first teaching in this series is understanding biblical faith. If we're going to live by faith, we need to understand what faith is, biblical faith is, okay? Because there's a human faith and there's a biblical faith. And we said to really understand biblical faith better, we need to define what biblical faith is. So we define biblical faith as to trust God. If you are not trusting God, you are not operating in biblical faith. If you trust in your bank account, if you trust in the government, if you trust in the doctor, yeah. you're not trusting God. Biblical faith is to trust God. Now God works through those things, but we have to trust God. Yeah. Alright? Mm -hmm. And then we talked about faith function. We said that faith function is to help us to develop our relationship with God and to connect us to His promises. Faith, working with patience, connects us to the promises of God. If we, we said last week that faith is a servant. It's our servant. Faith should be working for you. Amen. Don't let faith get lazy. Keep faith working. Mm -hmm. Whatever the promises of God is, they belong to you. Amen. And you can get them through faith. Amen? Amen. Yeah. Now, the, the last part of this teaching that we're going to do in this particular teaching of understanding biblical faith is, I want to talk tonight about biblical faith can be seen. When we're in faith, it can be seen. I heard people say, well, you know, I have to keep my faith to myself. You know, I don't want nobody to see it. <laughs> yeah. If you're in faith, it can be seen. Amen. Because faith, now, I, 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 I better say this. <laughs> this we don't give you meat in this teaching. You'll get a lot of meat. If you hear something that you don't understand or is not identifying with the Spirit, put it on the spiritual shelf. And just let God reveal it to you, okay? Because a lot of times we just throw stuff out without even allowing God to give us the revelation on it, all right? Now, faith is the action part of your belief. Faith, when you're in faith, you're acting. I believe in my heart, so then faith kicks in. Faith without works is dead. So faith is the action part. You know? And hopefully I can show you that tonight, okay? Amen. Okay. Let's pray. Father, thank you, Lord. we thank you for this opportunity to come together in the fellowship with one another. Yes, Lord. Thank you, Father, for each and every one that's here tonight. I pray that no one sits in here in this comfort. I thank you for the helper over them. I thank you, Father God, that as we study your word tonight, Lord, I thank you for revelation, knowledge flowing freely, unhindered, uninterrupted by any satanic or demonic spirit. I thank you, Father, that we decrease and you increase. Yes. All of you and none of us anoint every ear in here to hear your word, every heart to receive it, and every yes. spirit to contain it. I ask, Father, that you thank through my mind and speak through my vocal cords all that you have me to say to these your sheep. And, Father, we'll be ever so mindful to always give you the praise and always thank give you the glory. It's in Jesus' name, and everyone in agreement. So. Amen. 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 All, all, all of mine is doing the testing, so that's okay. Amen. Amen. Come on. Amen. Amen. If you have your Bibles, turn with me to Luke chapter 5. And you know I always say this is Bible study. So if you're going to study your Bible, you need 
Your Bible. Amen. <laughs> That's something that we should carry with us everywhere we go. Amen. Every opportunity we have, we should try to read our Bible. Amen. If you want a changed life, you got to renew your mind. Yeah. You got to renew your mind with the Word of God. You can't have you can't have a changed life without changing the way you think. Yeah. If you remain the same way that you think, if, if if your mind doesn't change, then your situation is not going to change because you're going to act the same way. Mm-hmm. Proverbs twenty-three and seven says, "As a man thinketh in his heart, so is he." Mm-hmm. If you want to change your way, you have to change your thinking. Mm-hmm. And and you do that through the Word of God. Romans 12 and 2 says, Be not conformed to this world, but be ye transformed by the renewing of your mind. So we need to renew our mind with the Word of God every day. You got people that read novels and, and mystery books and, and, and murder books, and boy, they just love them. But we need to have that same or even more tenacity mm-hmm. for the Word of God. Because that, see, those things are just entertainment. Mm-hmm. But this is your life. Amen. You need to read the Word. Amen? Amen. All right. We're going to talk about biblical faith can be seen. Now, contrary to some teachings, you have people teach that faith is invisible. I heard people say that. And for a while, I believed them until I renewed my mind. Because, you know, people say stuff that's not in the Bible. You know, have you ever heard money is the root of all evil? Yes. Uh-huh. I tell people, show me that in the Bible. Okay. It's not in the Bible. It says the love of money, okay. your attitude toward money uh-huh. is the root of all evil. You know, then you got people say, well, God helps them to help themselves. Show <laughs> me that in the Bible. <laughs> you know, when people start quoting stuff to you, tell them to show it to you in the Bible. Amen. Amen. You know, because a lot of them just going out of their mm-hmm. tradition or something that they heard. Mm-hmm. We need to know the word. That's why it's so important that we read the word for ourselves. Amen? Yeah. Right. Now, faith can be seen, and a good example of that is where Jesus saw the faith of the friends of a paralyzed man whom they carried this paralyzed man up on top of a house to get him to Jesus. They went to extreme measures to take him to Jesus. And in Luke chapter 5, we're going to read this start at verse 17. If you have it, say, I have it. I have it. Verse 17 says, Now it happened on a certain day as he, talking about Jesus, was teaching, that there were Pharisees and teachers of the law sitting by, who had come out of every town of Galilee, Judea, and Jerusalem. And the power of the Lord was present to heal them. Now let's stop here for a minute. 